Hello and welcome to this assignment walkthrough video for the DHIS2 curriculum developed by Logical Outcomes. My name is Nicholas Santillo and in this video I'm joined by Sarah Godden and together we look at how to enter aggregate data within DHIS2. All right, so I'm here again with Sarah. Hey Sarah. Hello Nicholas. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? Good, good, good. So today we're going to be looking at how to enter data for um, aggregate or period data entry, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yes. So we've jumped right into our development space and I've clicked on this data entry app, which is filing cabinet here. Mm -hmm. So the first thing we want to do is pick our org unit. So by mm -hmm. clicking on the little plus, we expand the levels below. Mm -hmm. And for this uh, data entry, I know that there is a data set attached to the school that I have permissions to see, and it's called the monthly school visit data set. Mm -hmm. So if you don't see a data set here, it means that your user role doesn't have permission to see it. So either contact your administrator or just edit your user role permissions. Mm -hmm. So after you pick your data set, you'll want to pick the period. So this is a monthly form. Um, I'm going to flip back to a previous year where there's no data entered. I'm going to go all the way back to 2014. Mm -hmm. Okay, so our form has two questions or two data elements here. The first radio button, pretty straightforward. You'll notice there's a little comment box here. Um, mm -hmm. For the next example, because it's a, a number, we've actually set this up to give a prompt if you put in a value below 100. So say if I were to put in 89. That meets our data validation criteria, so I'm not going to get any notice. But as soon as I put in a number over 100, mm -hmm. we've got this nice little pop-up, and I press OK, and then it'll turn red, just so that it visually flags you that you know this might be an issue. Mm -hmm. So as a data entry person, there's a way to communicate why this number is above an acceptable uh, max, and that mm -hmm. is to click twice on the field, and it opens up this nice little dialog box where you can leave a comment and you can explain why something might be the way it is. Right. Um, now, depending on people's permission level, this min or max may or may not be allowed to be edited by your data entry people, so mm -hmm. just keep that in mind. This is when the value was last updated, so I am the admin admin, and that was the value I just put in. Mm -hmm. And then we have the audit trail, which is a history of all of the changes. Right. So this is a very helpful box for communicating with your supervisor or other colleagues. And you'll want to oh, you want to save that comment, I think, before you close the box. Yeah, otherwise, oh. yeah, it doesn't get saved. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. great. Yeah. So for radio buttons, you'll notice there's a little box here. Yeah. And it's the same. Yeah. Perfect. So otherwise, once we're done, I'll hit complete, and this is also going to track. Uh, oh, very nice another error message. I like that. So let's make it 99 just to have it safe. So once I've completed, again, the system's also tracking me as the user who completed this form. Mm -hmm. um, and then we didn't show, but this run validation button you might press before you complete. And say you had a long list of questions and it would just let you know where you've made a potential error, which it did when I pressed complete just a minute cool. ago. All mm -hmm. right. I think that's a good uh, run through of how to enter Absolutely. data. Obviously, it depends what you know how many fields and data entry uh, data elements you have there, but mm -hmm. but in terms of choosing where you're entering the data, the org unit, mm -hmm. and different users will have different org units that they can see. So mm -hmm. we have a full access with this user role that we're looking that you have right now, but some users might only have access to one or two org units. So it's a lot mm -hmm. easier to choose uh, yeah. which one they want. And then of course you choose your data set, then your period, and then you just go ahead and enter that data. This is great. Cool. Okay. Thanks so much, Sarah. Thank you. That's all for now. As always, you can get in touch with us at info at logicaloutcomes.net or on our YouTube channel, Logical 